What actually matters to voters is inflation. What matters to voters is the fact that the U.S. economy has not grown this quarter. We might be in a recession. We'll know if we're in a recession in, ju in just a month or so um, if there is negative growth, if there is, you know, if it contracts one more month, if it, it or one more quarter, I should say, two quarters of um, a loss of growth means that there is a recession. And this is what voters care about, inflation and the possibility or the threat of a recession. And yet the left, when they address this, ignore the reality of what we the people are facing here. And Janet Yellen is a perfect example of this. She says the recession is not inevitable, but not for the reasons that, not for the reasons that you might think, not because, well, Biden could do something about this and change this. Um, it's not inevitable and you will be fine, she says, completely ignoring the reality for most of us. Madam Secretary, thanks for joining us this morning. You know, the Wall Street Journal reported this morning that 44% of economists expect a recession in the next year. Is that what you expect as well? Well, I expect the economy to slow. Uh, it's been growing at a very rapid rate as the economy, as the labor market has recovered and we have reached full employment. It's natural now that we expect a transition to steady and stable growth. But I don't think a recession is at all, at all inevitable. Um, Chair Powell, uh, clearly inflation is unacceptably high. It's President Biden's top priority to bring it down. And Chair Powell has said that his goal is to bring inflation down while maintaining a strong labor market. Um, that's going to take skill and luck, but um, I believe it's possible. I don't think a recession is inevitable. It's going to take skill and luck to bring down inflation, and a recession isn't inevitable. This is President Biden's top priority. This is such a load of BS. First of all, it doesn't take skill and luck. It takes action by the president of the United States. And Biden, this isn't Biden's top priority, obviously, or he would have taken action, but there are concrete actions that Biden can take that would improve inflation and, and yes, actually avoid a recession. Maybe, maybe it's too late to avoid a recession, but he could quickly help the U.S. economy recover from a recession before it deeply hurts the American people. But he's not doing this. I mean, he's not drilling for oil. He's, he's stopped the pipelines. He, he's propagating completely unstable energy policy that discourages um, oil and gas companies from drilling on federal leases that they've already obtained here. He's com he's continuing spending. He's still pushing Build Back Better, which would which would not only print and spend more money, would add to the federal debt and deficit here. These are all policies that he could make the active decision to reverse, and it would help inflation. It would help gas prices. It would help food prices. It would, you know, if we reduced our dependence on foreign oil, reduced our dependence on China, then we wouldn't have these supply chain crises that he that he blames as if they're just something arbitrary that happens. Um, so to say that it's Biden's top priority, it's not true. And to say that it's just a matter of luck and a little bit of skill about whether this will be inevitable or not is, is absolutely absurd. 